Okay, folks, Ron Marlowe here with you, making a name charm. We're going to make a full name this time. Not done that on any of the previous videos. And we're going to show you how to put the filigree underneath. Working in 21 gauge wire, it's square, it's nice to, nice and fun to work with. We're going to start with, uh, let's make the name Susan. Okay, and uh, here we go with our uppercase S. We put a little filigree on it, top, shows your loop-de-loop, -loop. bring it over. All right, now take it backwards and make that S nice and full and attractive. Okay, Let's grab it right here, bring the S over, and we're going to grab in here and work our way up to this SU. Here's our chain nose pliers. We've got our S made so far. We're going to grab the top of it, fold this forward. All right, now next we bring that U around, and notice that the I folded it forward. The dominant part of a lowercase u, in my opinion, is the curve. It just comes around a little different. All right, now, so we've grabbed it. Now we're going to fold it back, again, keeping the dominant section there. Put a little crimp in it, neaten it up a little bit. Go down here to the bottom and do a pull-off on the u. Now, look at the u. See, it's a little v-shaped. I want to shape it up a little bit. I give it that little touch right there. Now we're going to go on to a lowercase s, and it should be right about here on the top. Okay, and fold it in towards you, going back down that same little line. Grab it in the front, push it out, make it a little pregnant. Make it fat, good-looking little S. You can tuck it underneath if you want, or you can loop it around. I'm always trying to get more strength into my jewelry, uh, so we'll just flip it over top of the back side of this. I think it makes for a little stronger piece, the S. Here, we're going to take this right in between those two letters. Crimp it off or spiral it out. Either way, you want to just match the bottom of that letter. So let's grab that little S there. There's our S and our Susan. Now we're off to the A. You can make the A any way you wish. You want to do a loop-de-loop, -loop, fine. You want to do a lowercase c and then put a leg on it, that's fine too. I, for speed, am just going to do the upper loop-de-loop uh, -loop here. I'm trying to make the back a little bit square. Bring it up and there's our A so far. Now, you want to take this down a little bit further than you want. Kind of adjust the fullness of the A as you go about. And then grab the section where there's two pieces of wire. All right, right here. Bring it on down. And it kind of gives it a nicer look to the A. Check it out. Make sure that it works. looks the right size. Careful. They will get big on you. They'll get small on you. Now, there's our lettering so far. And we're off to make the N. Now, Susan, I want to make it nice and tight. Grin, gripping it. Chain those pliers, fold that down. Adjust it a little bit so that it's just the way you'd like it to be. Go to the bottom of the end and fold it up and forward. Like, there we go. And then bring the end over and down. Just an upside down U, essentially, what we did in the beginning. Kind of adjust it so that uh, it makes a beautiful little end. Now, pull it off and go up with it. So here's our Susan so far, S-U-S-A-N. There's a better angle for you. Um, this piece and this piece here, we want to make into a area where you can hang a chain through it. Now, let's do this side of the end first. We'll bring it in. I like to loop mine up. Try to look at the size of the capital letter S over here. You want to kind of match it. Bring it in, put a little curve into it, take your chain nose around those pliers, bring it around a little further than you want, and then right here, do the curly cue, and see how that looks pretty? It's just a nice little flowing letter, kind of matches the S there. Uh, from here, you want to do a loop around. Grab your flat nose or chain nose pliers, either one, and pull this forward. This is pointing straight at you. Make sure you don't poke your eye out. Don't do nothing like that. Back to the round nose pliers. Go to the fattest portion of it, depending upon the size of the chain the customer want to put it on. And swoop it around that round portion of your plier. Now, you can take this inside or you can take it outside. I find it easier going on the outside edge. Keep a hold of it nice and tight. And do a little tie-off right here. You notice that I am always going to end the wire pointing towards... The camera. I want it to be away from the customer. Here's where those little tiny pliers come in that are handy. Nip in that little corner, break off the edge, 
go back to your chain nose pliers and make sure there's no sharp edge in there. Just hide it in there. Can't feel it at all. Got a nice big loop on the side of it and a good filigree. Uh, now, the S is a little high for me. Okay, it's, it's a tall letter. So we could either do a pull off or we can do a loop like we did over here. Uh, I well, we'll just see which one we make here, what turns out nicest. Uh, let's go straight up a little bit, grab your chain nose, fold it forward, and kind of match the height of the other side, okay? Grab your loop, put your round nose pliers in there, bring it around the shape of the round nose pliers, and tie it off. Okay, I'm behind Susan here, but I've taken the wire again forward so that it's not rubbing on the customer's skin. Go back here behind here, make sure it's nice and tight, nip it off, and take the time to hide that little sharp edge so that it doesn't rub on anybody. Also, if you use your uh, flat nose pliers here, you can kind of flatten them out here. And you'll notice this one here is a little lower than this one, okay? No worries. Grab a hold of the inside of the S, kind of push it up a little bit. Okay, straighten it up a little bit. You think this is a little tall? Drop it down a little bit. Get that little fancy portion on the end. No one will ever realize it's there. And adjust the height so that they're about the same. Okay? Any other letter, I might have done the same over here. If it started down at the bottom, I would have made the same type of filigree. Susan's a little different. That's okay. Now, if you watched one of my earlier videos, I showed you how to make the filigree with little hearts underneath it. So now we're going to take this and we're going to attach it. You can put it on anywhere you want. If this was a shorter letter, I would have spiraled right here. If you want to take it through here, that's fine too. Okay, it's really uh, just your own aesthetical taste was where what fits nicest. Um, let's start over here with this side of the end and literally just tie it. Wrap that wire around the base of the bit. Okay, you can do it any way you'd like. Uh, here we go. We just start it and do a little wrap around the top half of the last little bit of tie where you put your where you put your chain, your bail glass, some people call it a little loop. Again, know where you're at when you're finishing it. Take it forward on the name. Forward. Alright, that's important so that it doesn't rub. You can do that two or three times if you like. I'm just going to stop right there. Make sure when you cut that you kind of guard yourself. You don't want to shoot that piece of wire at your face. I have done that. It is no fun. Uh, you know, you get little sharp spots. All right. I'm not liking that little edge. There we go. Okay. Go to the opposite side. Remember, uh, you can pull this out so that it has a little touch to it. Hide these little pieces. Fine tune everything as you go. Yeah, see, like this S, I'd like to put the heart right in the middle of Susan. And we're going to want to tie this piece somehow to the S. Uh, best piece, I would say, is just to get it close to it and just give it a little tie off. So, would you watch your spacing? Pull that around. Okay. Now, here's a little tight spot. I don't like ending it with it facing again. Okay. You can bring it back forward and nip off that edge with it going forward and then just roll the end in. And pull that little edge and just roll it over. Okay. So here is a little Susan with some filigree underneath. All right. There. Simple little letter. Little name. If you like what you see, please. Uh, oh, let me back this up. If you want to, you can put a chain right through here. I'll show you with a piece of wire. There. I put a piece of wire right through there. Susan, let's get you a little sharp. There it is. Boom. If you like what you see, please hit the like button. If you learned something, thank you. Bye.